Oh, hello. Um, didn't see you there. Welcome to my Tony Stark laboratory. The, the dramatic, is that, hey, Scott, is that dramatic? There's no Scott there, it's just me. Welcome to another episode of Gum Just Gizmo. Sorry this one is a little bit late, but I feel like I'm gonna be saying that quite often. Wouldn't it be cool if we could have our own Tony Stark lab? Or do half the things that we see in modern movies? And to an extent, we can. If you were to travel back in time 20 or 30 years, a lot of the technological advancements we have nowadays wouldn't even be dreamt of back then. But yet, there are a handful of things we've been promised by movies and books that haven't come to fruition yet. We have self-driving cars, but where are the flying cars? We have hoverboards, but no, no, we don't really have hoverboards. That's not real, that's, that's not, that's Paul, fiction. Call your where are my hoverboards? Also, holograms. Throughout decades of cinema, projected 3D images in space have been a reoccurring theme. And when I say holograms, I don't mean augmented reality or glasses, a headset that you wear that gives the appearance of something, something being in front of you when it isn't. That has been covered on this channel before, but I'm talking about something you don't need glasses to see. Something you can interact with, see in three dimensions. A holographic video game is my dream. So let's see if we can do it. But first, let's take a look at the holograms that do exist nowadays. You might have seen these before. This is a holographic iPhone projector. It's really just a plastic pyramid that I hot glued out of a CD case in about five minutes. Essentially how it works is you take it, you put it on the surface of your tablet or phone playing a video that you can look up online, and through the reflection of the plastic you can see what appears to be a hologram. Like look at that little, little jellyfish right down in there. Just a little jellyfish. Now I was kind of hesitant at first, I thought it was going to be cheesy, but even though there's a very low quality build, it actually looks like there's a little hologram in there. It's pretty cool. Now don't get me wrong, these things are way cool, but the fact that they're very small and you can't interact with them makes them not very enjoyable to use. I mean, it's cool to see for a few minutes, but it's not the holographic experience we've been wanting and asking for all these years in movies and TV. So what if I could make a more interactive, engaging, and realistic holographic video game? All right, let's do it. So to make this holographic video game projector, I am taking my favorite box of cereal and I'm cutting up a, a prototype, a demo. I'm gonna make a box that's themed after an arcade game and I'm gonna make up the holographic video game styled in 8-bit. But first I need to make a small version. So I made this cardboard box, but
but how do you do that? Well, I used Pocket Game Developer. It's a free mobile app you can get on your tablet or your iPhone where you can make 8-bit style games. You can control everything, like this one I made takes place in space, as previously mentioned, and you can design objects like platforms, how they look, and you don't have to write a single line of code. You can just place it all there for you. Like I have coins, I have UFOs, asteroids, obstacles. You can even animate things, like this flag animates the thing that you'll reach when you get to the end of the game. So let's see how it runs. Pretty cool, you can move up and down to avoid and shoot enemies. You can hit UFOs and asteroids and there's animation that even plays when you defeat them. So now that we've created the video game, let's put it into the console and see what this thing can really do. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's continuing mission. To explore strange new worlds. To seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no man has gone before. So there you go. We're not on the level of Tony Stark holograms just yet, but we can get as close as we can under a $15 budget. Now thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new to the channel or my content, this is the kind of stuff I make. I take an idea, a concept, typically, typically rooted in technology, and explore it and try to make something cool out of it. Hopefully I've inspired you to make something cool yourself, whether it's this or something even better. And if so, please share it with me. Talk about it in the comments or whatever way you can. You guys are awesome. And it will probably be a few weeks before I get the next video out. Rock on. I don't know, is this my thing now? I guess so, rock on.